All right, only dude here, and we are headed to the barn for our Christmas Eve service. Um, today, it's actually in the mid 50s. Last year, we, we couldn't have it because it, this time last year, it was like 20 degrees with a negative wind chill. Snowing, ice, it was nasty. We were stuck in the house, we couldn't go anywhere, couldn't do anything just really kind of mess things up as far as our regular tradition so we haven't been able to do this uh for for a little while so we're excited we're getting ready to go over there and do it today um it's one of our favorite traditions um within our church and uh, many people love it and it's it's quite an experience to, uh, to be involved in so just thought i'd bring you along we've got we got my dad Bruce, he's here too. You can see him in the back and uh, all the girls except for Kate. She'll meet us there shortly. Um, but just hope you guys enjoy watching this as well. We've, I've had this channel for two years, a little over two years, and this will be the first time that we've actually been able to video it. <laughs> Make sure that you uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, like the video and uh, hit the bell icon to get notified of new content as it's uploaded. And then also uh, put in some comments. Let us know how, what you think of the videos and um, you know anything you'd like to add or, or just want to say hi and shout out. So that's it. We'll uh, see you guys when we get to the barn. All right, we're here. This is the atmosphere. Check it out. Hey, hey, hey. How's everybody doing? Hey, YouTube. Huh? Get me in. Oh, absolutely. Got to get you in there. Where'd we end up going? Oh, over here. Here we are. What's up? Okay. What's up, Alice girls? Three of your friends and show them how it works. Stuff. We, we're up here a little bit. Just a little bit. You have to show them how it works. Here, I'm going to get on the other side of it and get it. People starting to roll in. We get these candles that will light up later. Out over here, they've got hot chocolate. Good old Don's. Good stuff. Oh, no, no, they're afterwards. I didn't know they were letting them have them right now. But. Well, it's now 5 o'clock and should be starting, but got still more people coming in, but we're filling up. Up a lot. I'm gonna be running out of spots here soon. Keep on coming in, we'll just fill it right up. Now, I think we're about ready to start. We are full up. Check out the guy with the cowboy hat. <laughs> Welcome to the evening. There we go. We're going to start because all the front row seats for people that can't climb need to sit or take, and anybody else shows up. Be <laughs> We're going to go ahead and start. This, this is a wonderful group tonight. We are glad that you're here. Thanks for spending Christmas Eve with us. Uh, and I don't know, this may be one of the biggest groups you've ever had. Yeah, I was thinking so. Yeah. yeah. So I want to I want to thank Rick and Debbie Green and their hospitality. A couple things real quick. Uh, secretarially, I can get done before we start, so I don't forget. You are up. 
It is a little unstable at, at times, so help each other as you're coming down. Be careful, come down, because we do not want to go to the emergency room tonight. Okay? So, especially with the kids, they run up and down. You know, I've, I've played in these places enough to be stuck in a spot and you can't get it out. There's always snakes hidden in these bales. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thanks, preacher. Thanks. <laughs> when we get ready to leave. <laughs> oh my soul. Hey, hold, hold, hold the show. Hold on, we got a video going on. Alright. Those of you who don't know, that's my wife. Yeah, is coming. <laughs> but I want you to think about what, what makes Christmas special. What is a treasure to you, your family, something you've experienced? And uh, we'll enjoy that here in just a moment. So with, without any further ado, Brother Steve, don't drop out. Okay. <laughs> Join me. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies, with angelic chorus proclaim. Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn King. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him in heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Away in a manger, no crib for a bed. A little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. and then we would get together and we would usually watch either It's a Wonderful Life or uh, what's the greatest Christmas, Christmas movie vacation. ever? Christmas Vacation. Yeah, Home Alone. Yeah. Yeah, home alone yeah. That's Christmas tradition. Then, then we would play Family Bingo and I have never seen two families cheat. <laughs> In fact, it got so bad I just stopped playing. I would just take a nap. <laughs> So I'm first. Who wants to be second? Preacher. Where you at? Right here. Just thank you uh, for being such a blessing to us for the past eight years. And um, I don't know that I could say it enough, but on behalf of us and our church, we love you, Preacher. Mm -hmm. we love you. Thank you. Somebody else? Where? Oh, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Now I see you. You figure it out. We'll come back to you, all right? 
Oh, I'm Yeah, that's a great part. Um, it's a treasure for me to be able to be here at my age. I have a lot of memories. And one of the memories that I have, when you have five kids, you have a lot of presents. And you don't have a lot of room at home to hide those <laughs> Santa Claus to get. So my grandmother lived in town and uh, I would go over to her house and she loved to have me come. And we wrapped and we wrapped and we wrapped. And that's such a treasure to be able to remember the joy that my children have. And the other joy is of knowing that my children know the Lord Jesus Christ. Wow. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's the biggest treasure that I can have. And I just thank everybody. I love Westwood. Everybody is so good to me. The, uh, the compassion that they have is just like Jesus would have. And I, I really appreciate it. Wow. I know we're not supposed to ask, but remind us again, how old are you? I'll be 92 in July. 92. <laughs> A lot of Christmas. Thanks, Shirley. Thank you. Now, if you're here and you're younger, you probably were born in a nice, beautiful, sterile hospital in a beautiful, beautiful labor and delivery room or a um, birthing suite. Our, our, uh, there's some generations above you, things look a little different. My grandparents, my dad's parents had a dairy farm outside of Lancaster. Most of their furniture was handmade because that's all that they could afford. One of their treasures was a huge oak dining room table. And it was actually beautiful. The craftsmanship of that thing was incredible. My dad was born on that dining room table. <laughs> because you didn't go to the hospital when you lived in the country. You couldn't get there. Mm -hmm. My grandmother never knew a car was called a car. She called it a machine. <laughs> when I was born, my mom went to the doctor for a checkup, and the doctor realized that she was in labor. In fact, I was literally just about ready to be born. And so in those days, a lot of doctor's offices had their own ambulance. And so the doctor and, and, and the nurse take my mom out, put her in the ambulance. They ride to the hospital. Well, my dad had brought my mom. He's in the waiting room in the commotion of everything. Nobody told my dad. <laughs> so about 30 minutes after they're gone, the, the receptionist looks out and says, Mr. Balmer, they've taken your wife to the hospital. So dad gets there. And, and uh, of course, in those days, you couldn't go in like we can now. I had the privilege, all three of my children, with my wife having her hands firm on my ears, pulling my head down to hers, saying, if you ever do this to me again, I will kill you. So I had the privilege of being there to watch my children born into this world. And I thought to myself, what, what an incredible treasure. So let me read the, the Christmas story if I could, and I just want you to listen to it. Just calm your mind for a minute. Forget about dinner in a little while. Forget about presents in a little while. Whatever's going to happen tomorrow, just listen to what Luke tells us about the birth of Jesus Christ. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. Just imagine, ladies, in your humble little place you call home, somewhere in a corner somewhere, you put together what we might today call a nursery. Some kind of little cot for the baby. Some place maybe in that room where you could go in labor and the baby would be born. And you would have family and friends around you. And you would have, if there were any comforts that we could call comforts of home there, you would have them there. And one day a decree goes out. And your husband comes in and says, I know this is horrible timing, but we can't stay here for the baby. We've got to travel. So now you're walking. Now you're riding on a donkey. 
Now you're traveling as best you can in the late stages of, of, of childbirth, making preparation for, <coughs> for your child to be born. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth unto Judea into the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. There were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was, with, uh, there was an angel, a multitude of, of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as, as the angels were gone away from, from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in, in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as was told unto them. We'll start over here on this side. Once we turn the lights out, and we'll just kind of work our way around. You know how the wave goes if you go to a ball game? Yeah. Well, we kind of, I just, I want you to get a picture of what it means to carry the gospel to the world as the light starts in a place and it starts to go around the world. Let's see it. Can, can a few of you right here go ahead and turn your lights on for me, your candles on for me? Just right here. All right, Brother Rick, if you would. Now just imagine before we do this, you're having a baby in a place. It'd be impossible to have a fire in here. <laughs> How do you keep warm? How do you see? How do you know what happens? And yet when they saw, they began to share. So let's start. Just kind of start now. <coughs> Flip your lights on. It's the back here. There's a little thing on the back of it if you don't have one. See what a little light, see the difference one little light makes? Yeah. That's why your life is incredibly important as a believer. Yeah. That's why what you do is so very important. Doesn't matter if it shines a little yellow, shines a little white, doesn't matter. What matters is that you shine. Amen. Parents, love your children. Children, love your parents. Love your grandparents. Love your friends. Because the day's coming when you're going to be wearing a jacket. There's going to be something as a reminder of someone that you love dearly. And they now no longer in this life are with us. Share Christ and the treasures of what you have. Silent night. Yeah.
from our hearts again to yours, from our family to yours. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, just wrapping things up, getting out of here. Oh, it's a different view of things. Literally on the other side is just more of the barn. <sighs> okay, well, we just finished up our uh, Christmas in the barn, and uh, it was great to be out there and be part of it again. It's been a couple years now, and so we had a great crowd. It was quite busy. So, but I think the Lord, it, uh, it was good and we had a good time. Jabber mouths back there. <laughs> so, anyways, we're going to head off and we're going to go see if we can find some Christmas lights and just kind of look around for a little while before we head to the house and, and uh, do our Christmas Eve get together. So, we'll see what we run into as we drive around. I think so. Yeah. Have. yeah. It looks familiar. Yeah. Yeah, because we kind of came down through here and then we go up here to the top of the road and we went to Clay Pot or Clay, not Clay Pipe, but uh, Boggs Road and we brought Boggs Road back. So, got all kinds of scripture in there that. Where the dog though? It looks like there's minions up there. That's what they look like. This horse is turning and we're gonna go straight. Yeah, right there, man. Watch out for the green gate. She oh. said what? Oh yeah, they got all kinds of, they got all kinds of old like, uh, what do you call them, blow, um, not blow ups, but the, uh, um, those thingies, like yeah, Santa right the, there. What do you call those, uh, yeah, it's like blow, some blow up, not blow up, but the plastic. Yeah, I already zoomed in. Oh, did you? 
I had to use two hands. All right, we are doing our annual Christmas Eve present opening pajamas. And so the girls are getting ready to open up their packages with their present or their pajamas for this year. All right, go ahead, Madison. You don't want what? That tray to fall over again. Oh. Got a book, there's some candy. You can open them up and see, finally. He was doing it one by one. No, no I just already over here. My gum. We got some candy too. Here's oh some God, candy. Kay, hey, what do you got? Some candy over there. Kate, what do you got going on? A book. Smell it. Smells yeah, like smells like a new book. <laughs> oh, look at that nice reindeer shirt. Yes, it's nice shirt. Black. black. Where's the pajamas at? What'd you get? Oh. What did you get? Oh, that's right. You got the. Not the hot mess bag. What about you, Madison? You got the candy stripe. Oh, I didn't know that was a hot mess bag. And yeah, the hot mess bag. <laughs> I got oh my goodness. I didn't really. Yeah, someone hides my. Um, this is how they look. It is how we do it. Hey, you're going to knock me into the tree. Offer JC Penny pictures. Yeah. We should do a couple of those. Come on. Okay, everybody to the side. Ready to go. What's another one? They do like weird random Everybody things. Everybody pick me up. And no. Get hold of me. No. Taylor's yeah, lighter. Like, no. I don't know. I don't know what other. I don't know. She's only like two pounds lighter than me. No. And Hildy. We have to scoot up. Exactly. We have to scoot up. I don't know if you can see it if you scoot up. No, it's. No, it's fine. If Taylor, Taylor oh, yeah. it's fine where it was. Okay. Well, we'll stand out of the way. Oh, Taylor. <laughs> weird. Uh, Okay, okay I'm now we have to do the weird one that mom wanted to do. And then we have to go on the elbow. On the elbow. Okay, on the elbow. Ready? Okay. Elbow, elbow. One, two, three, smile. One, two, three, do a cheesy grin. One, two, three, lift your right knee up and lean back. <laughs> Wait, am I doing the wrong one? <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, do that again. One, two, three, right up. knee, go. <laughs> That's what gave me the butt. Okay. Hey. Oh, how's my leg? This side. Oh, these are some more. There you go. Hug my leg. Wow. <laughs> Dad's laugh is what's getting. Do two and two. <laughs> okay. They'll face each other. <laughs> <laughs> Get her on the ground. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Really that she arched her back so much. <laughs> Sit down, Sit smile. Down. Watch you. Let me smile. Okay, what's he doing? He's going to touch my face. Cut him out. Ow, what was that? Are we done yet? It's gonna be funny. <laughs> Dip down. Ah! <laughs> you can see Haley's nose. Did we actually do a Did we do Put your hands in each other's pockets. <laughs> I think you and Dad should do that. Okay. Oh, oh no. no. I, I do. Oh, here. You yeah, that's what you do. No, it's back pockets. No, come on. Oh, yeah, stop, bro. What are you talking about? We'll just go backwards. No, it's this way. Where's the pockets? Where are they at? Right here? Okay, there we go. <laughs> he looks like a pervert. <laughs> that would be good. That would be good. Christmas from the Goldman family. Hope Merry you had Christmas. a good 2023. Of course, we're not in the new year yet. But from our family to yours, we all just want to miss you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.